A long, long time ago, in a galaxy far away, Naboo was under an attack. And I thought me and Qui Gon Jin could talk the Federation into maybe cutting them a little slack. Okay, today we're going to be doing a review on the Lego Star Wars M Trade Federation MTT. I do not know what MTT stands for, but obviously one of those T's have to be Troop Carrier or something like that. I don't know. So, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments bar. So here we've got the MTT. It's a pretty big set. It's $100. Got it at Toys R Us for my birthday. I think, like, two years back. Pretty detailed area areas, like the engine right here. Pretty cool. Gun. Now, there are no shooting features, like the, um, little flick-firing missiles, like in the newer sets. This is an older set, so it's a little different from that one's. Doors on the sides, flat pieces. Little circular disc right up in there. Back door. Really detailed. More engine area detailed, with little gears that turn. Which, if you don't have the set, I'll show you how they turn. First of all, this door. You turn the gear on the side, the door will open, and out comes the droid rack. Which holds two racks, and each rack holds about eight droids. The racks can come off, and here you have the simple droid rack with eight droids in all. They just slide up on there, and I'm just going to leave one on the side for a little feature that I'll show you later on. Just hold on, this door is officially up all the way. So now, you just pull it back, and the thing goes back in, but the door has to be shut by you. It won't go, it won't close back in. It only gets pushed out, but it's still a good feature. It closes up. This door is made of, instead of just one disc there, it's actually two discs laid on top of each other. Now, I don't know why it's two discs, but I think it's just to show that, yeah, it's double armor plating, because it says in its bio that it's re has really thick armor plating, and the front's supposed to be really thick so it can bash through building walls and crap like that. Guns in the front elevate to any area. Turn, however which way you want. These little ball things right here, are way better than the newer ones in the Clone Wars sets. These ones, actually, when you move them, don't fall off really easily like the newer ones, which is good. Doors on the side all open. This one opens to reveal a little gun rack. Holds somewhere around, I think, 18 guns, blaster rifles, droid blaster rifles, which I consider these to be clone blaster pistols, and the longer ones are the blaster rifles. Yeah. Up here is another little door right up there. Flat down. Sometimes it comes off, because these things are really hard to move. In there you can just see a little droid at work. This thing lifts up to reveal the droid, which you can pull out. Now my, um... What you call it? What you might call it? Camera is stationary. It's connected to my computer, so I can't really move it overhead. But I'll just pull out the cockpit, and here you have a little pilot with a blue torso, controls and stuff. All almost fell. Little chair and everything. I'll leave that out for the next feature. This thing's pretty cool. Flaps up, down, closes. Moving on, we have this door. What was that? Uh, never mind. This door that opens reveals something in there. Turn it this way. See, with these doors open on the sides, put in here, push something in. Out comes the little droid scout, which is supposed to come out better, but it didn't. But okay, yeah, little droid scout. It's pretty cool. Now, this is the feature I wanted to show you. See this tray? This comes off. You can stick on this rack or 
this rack or this rack. One of the few features. The um, opening doors and stuff and the gear turning thing is one of the other features, but doesn't have too many features, but it's a good troop carrier. Comes with 20 droids and all. Two security droids I have in here, but I'm not going to take them out. They're just like any other droid with a red torso. Just put this back on here. The door. Put it in there. It just slides right in. Shut these doors. Okay, over here, same door as the other door opens up to reveal where the gun would go. Gun rack fits right in there. Same as the other door thing, where the cockpit goes. Just get the cockpit back up into there. And then the gears, which turn to release the droid rack. Which is one of the best features of the entire set, the droid rack. Oh yes, and the Droidica. Droidica. Really cool little guy. Pose ability. Alright, moves up, down. Up, moves, everything. Blasters on his arms move up and down, pivot. The legs do not move on their own. Like, they don't, like, move. They're attached tightly, so they move. Um, he can barely roll up into a ball, but it's not even close that close to a ball, but he just puts his arms in like this, and his head down. Then these legs are pushed up like this. Each one is kind of in a ball, but not entirely. So yeah, that's one of the features of this set, little guy. Destroyer is pretty cool. I like him. So that's about it for the MTT Trade Federation troop carrier. Big box in the background. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah. So that's about it. A long, long time ago, in a galaxy far away, Naboo was under an.